been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go. Uh, listen, we're still here right now. This is London Rebels show right now, Box Park Craydon. Listen, I'm here with a star of the show, Chloe Jet. How's your, how's your live performance today? You know what? It was really fun. It was a sick audience. Like, I just didn't expect it. I had a really good time. Yeah. Now, that's good. And obviously, I feel like your voice and your music is very beautiful. Oh, uh, where does that come from? What, my... Like, your musical interest and the lyrics of your music. Well, it was when I was, like, 18. I went to go see the film Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, like Queen and everything. And I was watching them and I was like, damn, like, they're different. And I used to be very poppy and I was like, I've got to change. I've got to do something to stand out and be a bit different. So that's when I started to change my lyrics, my genre, my style. Um, I can't really say, like, I have one main influencer. I mean, I listen to, I still listen to, like, a lot of mainstream pop and stuff, but my music taste kind of goes a bit everywhere but I lost it listen we've got to talk to the man of the hour you know the man that was on the guitar the Lewis of this world the bass guitar <laughs> he, he, he listen he, he <laughs> I listen listen she saved my life it's lit by the way Lewis <laughs> how was it performing life for you nah yeah it's cool man same as always a vibe Always fun, fun changes. Nah, Why the bass guitar? Ah, uh, you know what? This is, you know what? I used to play guitar in it. I still kind of do, but you see, you see what you can feel right now in your feet. That's me. That feeling that resonates in your soul. So, in terms of um, being a, a bass bass guitar player, is there anything more they can look out for you, or is that the main thing you do? I'm a session player, so. I'm kind of like a mercenary. I play for a price. I <laughs> uh, listen to all the to all the ladies right now. He got a bit gassed too. I can't. Like. <laughs> also, here with my man right now. You know, so the piano in that, yeah. You got skills of the keys. Why is that, bro? Church, isn't it? <laughs> That's all. <hard>. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, black people are lit if you eat chicken. <laughs> but after all, like, what made you want to do the keys? To be honest. I don't know, man. It's just an easy way of expressing yourself. But if I have to be very honest, yeah, I never wanted to. <laughs> I never, you know, I never chose to do keys. I think it was, there's never keys players around, innit? And then people were just like, Clive, you know, you can learn quick, do your thing, innit? So I was like, all right, learn a little quick thing. So learn this, learn this, learn that, learn that. And now I'm here, innit? So, I don't know, it's just a random thing. Nah, I rate that still. And is there any, like, musical interest when it comes to playing the piano that you have around you? Stevie Wonder. Okay, okay, Where, where's the shades at, bro? Huh? <laughs> where's the shades at? You gotta pretend to be blind right now, bro. <laughs> nah, he's gonna shades ready. <laughs> of course, bro. Uh, you tell him that's my sunglasses. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my sunglasses like this. <laughs> and I'm still gonna come back to you. Um, <laughs> no. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about, honestly. <laughs> That's the heart as well. We're going to come back to you. Um, how important is it to have a great team behind you? Oh, you know what? I love these guys so much. And I've only played with Lewis once before. This is my second time. It's not a no, it's not a fair price. <laughs> I, I, listen, yeah, he loves me really, okay? I pay him in food. I give them food. I give them a lot of food. i got to make sure that my musicians are happy and they like what they want to play, you know what I mean? It can't be boring. I want them to enjoy it. Steeler I have cues I've been playing with for, what is it, four or five years? So he knows me very well. So he knows my musical ideas. So he helps me write a lot of my songs, yeah, yeah. puts the chords to it. So I'm very, very thankful to have him. But I love these guys and they get along so well. It's kind of mad and they've only really met recently. So I'm ah. not worried. they bully me, you know? <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm going to say two, listen, two males versus one female and it might get crazy in there. <laughs> but I have to be honest with you, like, like, uh, no, not that kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Uh, I have to say, like, you know, when it comes to doing music and working with the people that you love and the people that you adore, um, people always talk about yes men. And there's one thing I always ask musicians. Do you feel like 
you want to hear criticism of your music if let's say both of these guys don't like it i 100 percent. i mean as much as it may hurt a little bit you always need that second opinion because like you're very i i feel like sometimes i can be quite closed-minded and like i may not accept as in i may not be like okay i agree with you let's do that but i still want to take it in i mean i think it's such it's so important to take criticism even if it hurts you a little bit because that i mean to be honest i don't think i was a great singer when i was like i don't know a few years ago it is literally practice for me but it's also been the help of people telling me how to control my voice and just like it's just learning and if you don't take criticism you're not going to learn and you just need that second ear and that That's second opinion music. music needs to be a collaborative effort that's like when we're in the studio. You check me, I check you, because that way all the ideas are coming into one and making one sick project. If you're not listening to each other, something that might be whack could be good, but you're not listening to someone's opinion, do you know what I'm saying? So it's all about that back and forth and helping each other out. Nah, big shout to Louis, big shout to Chloe Jets, big shout to my man here on the keys who uh, has a real, real mind. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm just trying to promise, bro. <laughs> nah, I love, bro. Obviously, I heard you seen your friend's hat. <laughs> Someone always gotta get go, but listen, this has been a Street Sessions, London Rebels. Where can everybody find us? You can take a toe to the mic and just let me know where they're gonna find you. Alright, so Chloe Jet, C H L O E J E T on all socials everywhere. It's one word. So yeah, on Spotify, Apple Music, there's more great stuff coming, so keep an eye out. But yeah. Oh. I so think sure. I'm at Lewis Cordo underscore. Yeah, you are. And that's it. Here's the underscore, innit? Yeah. Where can I find you, bro? Uh, if, you wanna, if you ever want keys, C underscore live keys, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> so, if you're girls right now, listen, I allow it. This is Steve Wonder. <laughs> and listen, Baba is so saucy, you don't need ketchup. <laughs> and listen, look at who me? Who? What are you talking about? Oh, I've, oh, I've got my glasses back. Oh, because I got my glasses back. Oh, okay. Yeah, now nah, I wear these better. Hey, listen, listen. I'm trying to grow a beard as well, but it's not really working over here. But <laughs> we'll try, we'll try. And that was a big shout to Chloe Jets in the building as well. So big shout to everybody's here right now. It's the London Rebels, Boss Park Croydon. We out. Been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online, on the go, and on the FM. Okay, let's go.